Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Zach Detron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next live on Battle Day video. And today we are in a war against Ottoman Empire. Uh, you can see that we uh, are pretty early on in the war. Just go through the bases right here. Um, they did get, I think, one three star up there, but for the most part, they're not doing a whole lot to our bases. Um, as far as uh, what we've done, not many attacks, a couple three stars. Uh, looks like one two star in there as well, so we're off to a pretty good start. They don't have the best bases, but I'm hoping to catch some action, uh, possibly some Town Hall 9s, some Town Hall 10s, maybe even some Town Hall 11s. Uh, looks like we have someone being attacked, Turtle Power under attack. We won't show that just to save his base, but uh, we will show some of our attacks as soon as they get going. So hopefully I won't have to wait too long, and uh, we should have our first live attack pretty soon. Stay right there. So it looks like we have our first attacker. This is Iceman going in um, against a pretty standard, I guess, internet, internet, internet type base, you can call it. Uh, this is a pretty, somewhat of a common design you see here. A little bit of a variation of it, maybe. But for the most part, this is an easy base to three-star, especially with Iceman's 30-30 heroes. So it would be kind of hard to mess this up, in all honesty. Looks like he's doing a... A pretty small kill squad, just that one golem and the heroes, plus the bowlers and the CC. As long as the bowlers go into the base, I think he should be fine. Right there, a giant bomb did just go off. That could be a little bit of an issue, and the bowlers seem to be walking. Uh, so things are moving in. Looks like the, the heroes at least will enter the base. Uh, the king and the golem are in there. Out come the CC troops. He has the poison for them. Uh, the queen's going to go down right there to the king, it looks like. Uh, his queen's going to come on in right here. The bowlers, for the most part, are down, but I guess the kill squad has gotten the job done in the sense that it took out uh, the important stuff like the queen, the CC troops, got one of the giant bombs triggered. This guy's giant bombs are not inside his base, it looks like. Look like looks like they're on the outside by those compartments. Um, so his hogs might hit a few as they come in, but they're looking good. I mean, he has the heal spells, has three of those. Um, the, the king is not doing much damage to them. A few go flying to spring traps, actually more than a few. Uh, there is, it looks like there is a few giant bombs in the core, actually. Uh, which the hogs might not even have to worry about because the golemites went in there and triggered most of them. Uh, the giants are tanking for those hogs a little bit, so nice kind of surgical hog deployment, reminiscent of kind of back when surgical hogs were much more powerful, back when they were first invented with the giants and the two or three hogs for each defense. But anyway, it looks like this base is going to go down. Not the cleanest attack, but got the job done, which is all that matters. So it looks like we'll just kind of uh, wrap things up right here as all the troops make their way around. Nice attack to Iceman, and these bases, they can be tricky, but for the most part, if you have a, if you have high-level heroes, it definitely helps, that's for sure, but if you have, you know, a solid plan, there's a lot of room for error, to be honest, at Town Hall 9, we'll give Iceman a woo in the comments, or in the chat, but there is a, a lot of room for error, so even if the bowlers walk, even if you hit a giant bomb, like on the outside, and most of your bowlers uh, get pretty low on health, uh, there, there's still room for error. You can still take out the base. You can see how many hogs he has left up. So yeah, this should be pretty much it as soon as that uh, elixir storage goes down. A nice attack getting the three star. That's pretty much all we need are those three stars from him. And we'll back out. Make sure no one's going in. Doesn't look like anyone is. So I will end this clip and be right back with the next attack. All right, we have uh, next attack. Top Town Hall 9, it looks like. So this should be a pretty good base, actually. This is Last Spartan. Um, coming in here with a Queen Walk uh, Vaho attack. So a little bit of a of a you know different attack. They're not just your standard stoned hobo or anything like that. And it is a pretty good base. So this should should make for a good attack. There's definitely gonna be some double giant bomb spots. Um, just a good solid layout from this guy. Uh, so right here, drops the rage to help his queen take out the enemy king. Not sure if the rage was needed, but I guess it was. I didn't see that second archer tower. With two archer towers plus the king, even if he poisoned the king, which might have been a good idea to do, probably still would have needed that rage anyway. So I guess uh, nothing nothing lost there. Uh, nice baby dragon to kind of help with the funneling. Maybe a wizard could have got the job done. I always like looking for things on these live attacks, especially for things that could just be done a little bit cheaper because those are what, what can get you more troop space uh, when you actually need it for like your hogs or your valks or something. But anyway, the CC troops come out, has another rage. He's going to go ahead and drop on his queen right here. So definitely investing a lot in her, but she's taking out a good deal of the base. Uh, the CC troops didn't get fully lured. Here comes the, the rest of them, two more baby dragons. 
I don't get why clans put two baby dragons in the CC, because really it does the damage of one baby dragon, because they lose the times two damage, but people still do it for one reason or another, and I guess that's just how some people work, but the, the queen actually did go down, he must have missed the ability, I didn't quite catch that, yeah, I guess he missed the ability there, so the queen is down, that's huge, uh, the, he the healers are peeling off onto the kill squad, but that baby dragon took out all the healers, so... Yeah, that one baby dragon, I guess two baby dragons worked out for this guy in his clan castle because even though the queen got one of the baby dragons, the second fought through her, fought through the queen, took her out, and now it took out the healers. Now it's taking out the Valks. I guess he could have dropped a wizard back then, but he didn't. So nothing in the base right now can target that baby dragon. This attack is going to be a fail, it looks like. If he had maybe dropped a wizard as soon as his queen went down, it might have been able to take out that baby dragon before it took out the healers, because with three or four healers still up, uh, those Valks would have got a lot deeper into the base, especially if there wasn't the baby dragon targeting them directly. Plus, the healers would have helped out. So we'll give a nice try to last Spartan, because uh, it was a pretty good plan. Just uh, missed the queen's ability. That was the main thing. And maybe he could have used the rage, the rage spells a little bit differently and maximized the value a little better. But nice try. We will go ahead and move on uh, to the next attack. I'll be right back with that. So here we go with the next attack, kind of missed the beginning part of that, but basically we're taking a look at Bisectatron going in here against one of their Town Hall 10 bases. This is actually pretty similar to the Town Hall 9 base we saw at the beginning, although it's a Town Hall 10 base, has pretty much max point defense. So even though the heroes are kind of low level and the base design isn't great, this is still going to be a hard attack. And I can't remember if Bisectatron has been on the channel yet. I just don't remember saying his name very much. Maybe he's a new member. Maybe I just missed him because I haven't been that active in the last few wars. But if this is your first time on the channel, uh, welcome to the channel, dude. Uh, should hopefully a three-star to, to start off your channel debut. Uh, here come the Valks, the Bowlers. Looks like he's just coming in with a big heavy kill squad. He has some balloons. We'll see how he uses those. That should be interesting. Uh, heal spell down. Another rage. Um, looks like I'll put that jump down right there. So everything's moving through. Not sure if that Inferno is going to go down. This might be kind of tight. The kill squad is still moving. Hard to tell how many Valks he has left up. Um, a few balloons going in. We'll see how this ends up uh, working out for him because the kill squad is down for the most part. I don't think the enemy queen even went down. You can see she actually is still up on that left side of the screen. So there's still that kind of stronghold with the queen left up. He only has a few balloons. The queen's pretty low on health. He'll have to pop the ability in just a moment. Doesn't look like this is going to be a three star. Um, good try. Hard to tell what happened with the Valks there. Maybe the they got too far out in front and the CC troops took them out or something. But really his kill squad kind of petered out before they could take that second jump and really get deeper into the base. So uh, definitely a nice try. I guess we'll go ahead and watch the end of this as the queen takes out a few more buildings before she goes down. And uh, just like uh, he'll deploy a few more uh, cleanup troops, but yeah, about 63, 64%. Looks like it'll be nice try to bisectatron, and uh, that will wrap it up for this video, guys. This is going to be the last attack. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll try to record a live attack for you guys so you can see some of my attacking. Uh, so maybe maybe one of my attacks tomorrow or something I will record. So be looking forward to that. I don't know when I'll upload that, but maybe at some point uh, next week when, when when you guys want a live attack. Uh, I'll be able to have one pre-recorded for you guys. So look forward to that. But thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked the attacks. Only had three for you guys, but uh, it's always hard to find the time to, to sit around and record attacks, especially in a small war when not many people are attacking. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be sure to check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Sectatron out.